Saint Faustina was born Helena Kowalska on August 25, 1905. She was the third of ten children of Stanislaw Kowalski, a carpenter, and Mariana Kowalska. Though they were considered a peasant, the family was very religious. When she was seven, while attending the exposition of the Blessed Sacrament, she first had a calling to religious life. Helena wanted to enter the convent but she was never permitted by her parents. At 16, she worked as a housekeeper, she also received the Sacrament of Confirmation. In 1924, Helena had a vision of a suffering Jesus, who asked her, How long shall I put up with you and how long will you keep putting me off? She went to the Lodz Cathedral, where she later said Jesus instructed her to depart for Warsaw immediately and to enter a convent. She took a train for Warsaw, some 85 miles away, without asking her parents' permission, and the only belongings she had were the dress she wore. In 1925, Helena worked as a housemaid wherein she deposited the money she earned at the convent. On April 30, 1926, Helena finally received her habit after entering the Congregation of the Sisters of Our Lady of Mercy where she was given the religious name of Sister Maria Faustina of the Blessed Sacrament. In April 1928, after completing her novitiate, she took her first religious vows as a nun, with her parents attending the rite. She served as a cook at the convent in Wilno, then in Poland, now known as Vilnius, the capital of Lithuania. A year later, Sister Faustina was transferred to the convent in Plock, Poland in May 1930 and served there for almost two years. The year when Sister Faustina arrived in Plock is when the first signs of her illness showed. On the night of February 22, 1931, while she was inside her cell, Jesus appeared wearing a white garment with red and pale rays emanating from his heart. In her diary, Notebook I, items 47 and 48, she wrote that Jesus told her, Paint an image according to the pattern you see, with the signature, Jesus, I trust in you, in Polish, Jezu, Ufam Toby. I desire that this image be venerated, first in your chapel, and then throughout the world. I promise that the soul that will venerate this image will not perish. Sister Faustina also wrote in her diary, Notebook I, Item 49, what Jesus told her that he wanted the Divine Mercy image to be, solemnly blessed on the first Sunday after Easter Sunday, that Sunday is to be the Feast of Mercy. In November 1932, Sister Faustina returned to Warsaw to prepare to take her final vows as a nun, by which she would become in perpetuity a Sister of Our Lady of Mercy. The ceremony took place on May 1, 1933, in Laguniki, Krakow, Poland. In late May 1933, Sister Faustina was transferred back to Vilnius to work as a gardener. Shortly after, Sister Faustina met Father Michael Sapako, the newly appointed confessor to the nuns and a professor of pastoral theology at Stefan Batory University, now called Vilnius University. During her first confession, she told him that she had been talking to Jesus, who clearly had made a plan for her. Father Sapako had her undergo a complete psychiatric evaluation which was conducted by Helena Machewska, a psychiatrist and a physician associated with the convent. This took place in 1933 and Kowalska passed the required tests and was declared of sound mind. After passing the evaluation, Father Sapako believed and wholeheartedly supported Sister Faustina. When she told the priest about the Divine Mercy image, Father Sapako reached out and introduced her to artist Eugene Kazimierowski, who was also a professor at the university in January 1934. Kazimierowski finished painting the image based on Sister Faustina's direction, the only Divine Mercy painting she saw. In her diary, Notebook I, Item 414, Sister Faustina wrote that on Good Friday, April 19, 1935, Jesus told her that he wanted the Divine Mercy image to be publicly honored. A week later, on April 26, 1935, Father Sapako delivered the first sermon ever on the Divine Mercy which Sister Faustina attended. The Divine Mercy image was first displayed in a Mass during the second Sunday of Easter, on April 28, 1935, also attended by Sister Faustina. It coincided with the celebration of the end of the Jubilee of the Redemption by Pope Pius XI. On September 13, 1935, Sister Faustina wrote in her diary, Notebook I, Item 476. 
the vision about the chaplet of divine mercy, being a third the length of the rosary, and that the purpose of the chaplet's prayers is threefold. To obtain mercy, to trust in Christ's mercy, and to show mercy to others. In November 1935, Sister Faustina wrote the rules for a new contemplative religious congregation devoted to the divine mercy. By December, she visited a house in Vilnius that she said she had seen in a vision as the first convent for the congregation. In January 1936, Sister Faustina went to see Archbishop Romwald Jalbrakowski of Wilno to discuss a new congregation for Divine Mercy. However, he reminded her that she was perpetually vowed to her current order. Sister Faustina tried to leave her order to start a new one devoted to Divine Mercy but was declined and was transferred to Wallendau, southwest of Warsaw. She reported that Jesus had said to her, My daughter, do whatever is within your power to spread devotion to my divine mercy, I will make up for what you lack. Father Sapako wrote the first brochure on the divine mercy devotion which carried the divine mercy image on the cover. However, later that year in 1936, Faustina became ill with what has since been speculated to be tuberculosis. On March 23, 1937, Sister Faustina wrote in her diary, Notebook 3, Item 1044, about her vision of having the Feast of the Divine Mercy to be celebrated in her local chapel and would be attended by large crowds. The same celebration would be held in Rome, attended by the Pope. In November of 1937, a pamphlet was published with the title Christ, King of Mercy which included the chaplet, the novena, and the litany of the Divine Mercy. The Divine Mercy image appeared on the cover, with the signature, Jesus, I trust in you. As her health deteriorated towards the end of 1937, Sister Faustina's visions intensified. By April 1938, her illness had progressed, and she was sent to rest in the sanatorium in Pradnik. Sister Faustina died on October 5, 1938, at the age of 33. She was buried two days later and her remains rested at Krakow's Basilica of Divine Mercy. In 1965, with the approval of the Holy Office, Karol Wojtyla, then Archbishop of Krakow and later Pope John Paul II, opened the initial informative process into Sister Faustina's life and virtues and requested the start of the official process of her beatification. Sister Faustina was beatified on April 18, 1993, and was canonized on April 30, 2000. In October 2011, a group of cardinals and bishops sent a petition to Pope Benedict XVI for Kowalska to be made a doctor of the Church. On May 18, 2020, Saint Faustina was added by Pope Francis to the general Roman calendar as an optional memorial. The decree allows her memorial to be celebrated around the world during Mass and the Liturgy of the Hours.